Dear friends, this video is about my favorite tropical herb, the pandan. Included in this video is also how to make the aromatic nutritious pandan tea. Also included in this video is the recipe for my all-time favorite pandan snack, kue kataya, which is actually a rolled pandan cream filled with coconut and palm sugar. Pandan is a tropical herb which belongs to the screw pine genus. The leaves have a hint of rose, almond and vanilla flavor. Its fragrant smells good and raises one's appetite. Used widely as a food flavoring in most Southeast Asian cooking. It has a sweet fragrant smell and pandan juice gives a bright green color to food. Bruised pandan leaves or its extract adds flavor and color to rice dishes and also to tapioca and coconut based desserts and puddings. Pandan leaves may also be used as a wrap for grilling, barbecuing or steaming food. This adds a sweet floral-like note to the dishes. Pandan leaf is one of the needed ingredients in traditional Malaysian cuisine. The traditional rice dish is mostly infused with pandan flavour. Pandan can also be made into a refreshing tea. Pandan and lemongrass tea is a very popular Thai post-spa drink. To make a refreshing pandan and lemongrass tea, first clean and knot 8 to 10 blades of pandan leaves. Bruise the leaves to get extra flavors into the tea. Smash the lemongrass stems too. To make the tea, boil the pandan and lemongrass in 1 liter of water for 15 minutes. Then simmer for another 5 minutes. A piece of ginger may be added for additional flavor. Pandan leaf tea helps our liver with its detoxifying function. Pandan leaf tea is also believed to help reduce cramps. This tea may be served in many ways, sweetened, unsweetened, hot, cold or with a dash of lemon juice. However it may be served, it just tastes great. Pandan leaves contain isoperine esters, tannins, glucosides, alkaloids, and richly scented essential oils. Pandan leaf has so many health benefits. It can be a natural and safe traditional cure. To make pandan juice extract, first blend the chopped pandan leaves with some water. Adding pandan leaves to our diet helps to discharge toxins and unhealthy substances from our liver and body. Pandan leaves are believed to lower high blood pressure. Pandan has laxative properties. Since it's a mild laxative, it eases the process of waste excretion. Extract the juice using a fine sieve. To make kue kataya, 
The preparation involves two parts. First step is to make a smooth batter with the pandan juice extract. To 700 ml of pandan juice, add 2 cups of plain flour. using a blender here as it is much faster and easier. 1 tablespoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of baking soda. The batter should not be too runny or too thick. A pouring consistency is just fine. The next step is to make the filling. Mix 2 cups of freshly grated coconut to 1 cup of finely diced palm sugar. The amount of palm sugar can be reduced as per taste. The third step is to make the pandan crepes. Grease the heated non-stick pan. Ladle a spoon of pandan batter. Swirl the batter around to make a thin creep. Close and cook on one side for two minutes first. and leave it to cook on the reverse side. We can do as many creeps as we want before the final step of assembling and putting the filling. I like to do both steps simultaneously. While the creeps are being done, we can do the final step of assembling. That's all my friends. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, fragrant and aromatic life.